hi there let's read the word of god together today's reading comes from psalms chapter 20 and this is what psalms chapter 20 has to say may the lord answer you in the day of trouble may the name of the god of jacob protect you May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desires and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God, set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your, your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord, our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O oh Lord, save the King. May he answer us when we call. Amen. So I would like to take the last two minutes of this video to pose a question and to cause us to introspect a bit. I really wanna ask us where our trust is. We've just read that some trust in horses and some trust in chariots. Some people trust in their money and generational wealth. Some people trust in past experiences. People trust in various things for various reasons, but somehow, all of these things that people have stored their trust in still at the end of the day always in one way or another end up forsaking them and leaving them our trust and our hope our help should be in god because he is always with us and he's always for us even when everybody else can leave and forsake you and cancel you one thing about God is always for us. His plans and his thoughts to us are not to harm us, are not to bring us shame, but to bring us a great expected end. And so I want to encourage us to really look into our lives and introspect. Sometimes we put our trust into things oblivious to the fact that we're doing it. And we lean so much on these things, and these man-made gods that we have put into our lives. Let's rethink our lives and give our trust, our hope to God as the best place that we could surrender it to if we want the best for our lives. Thank you.